Brian and Kurt from Clifton Accountants. Today we're going to talk about cloud-based accounting systems and the one that we believe is the best in this space uh, which is Xero. Now for those of you who don't know, cloud-based accounting systems are those where your data is hosted in the cloud or on the internet if you like. So it's not hosted on your server or your own computer but it's accessible from anywhere because of the way it's hosted. So we're going to talk about the benefits of Xero and go through some common questions as well. So thanks Brian. The, the first thing we're going to look at is some benefits and you mentioned about cloud-based um, being um, hosted on the internet. The real advantage from that, from our perspective, is there's a couple of things. Um, if uh, you're a business owner and you uh, have your accounting software based in the clouds, wherever you are, as long as you've got access to the internet, um, you've got access to your data file. So historically, um, if you're not in front of your work computer, it's really hard to access your file to do invoicing, to do bank reconciliations, all that kind of thing. Um, Cloud-based um, software just opens up a whole variety of, of benefits in that way. Um, secondly, from an accountant's perspective, uh, we can also access your file from wherever we are, whenever you like. You can be on the file, so it's multi-user. multi, multi -user. Okay. Um, And if there's, a, if there's an issue, if there's a, an entry that you don't know how to deal with, we as your accountant can jump onto the file wherever we are um, do entries, uh, print reports, um, and so yeah, there's a, there's huge benefits of being cloud-based as opposed to um, to load uh, load it onto your own computer. Um, I guess thirdly, with that, any changes that we make to your data file are automatically updated live. Whereas historically, once again, if we make a change, we have to give clients journal entries to reflect that change on their data file. Sure. It makes it a lot simpler as far as the management of the file and the management of the data goes because you're not having to manage different versions of files and who's got what and where's it up to. So from that point of view, it makes it a lot simpler. Definitely. Um, along with that also, because it's, it's loaded online, uh, it's automatically updating to the new, new servers and new systems. So if you've got MYB, you might have version 16, uh, whereas there's three or four new versions from that. So, so finding, I, I guess the constant updating of the one data file is a real advantage as well. Um, one, of the, one of the great things about Xero that we've found and, and clients love um, is the automatic data feed. So what Xero does is that it links up with your internet banking, um, pulls transactions off your internet banking daily and puts them into the, the system. It so. saves a lot of time as far as data entry goes and, and, and takes away that mundane task and really lets you get the information into the system a lot quicker and a lot smoother. Definitely. Uh, that means that you don't have to manually enter the data. Um, and then another nice little function it has is it's got um, memorization. So you can tell it um, if it sees uh, an expense to Caltex, um, you can tell it that that's motor vehicle fuel. And, and the system will, whenever it sees Caltex, will automatically code that entry um, to fuel. Uh, similarly to that, uh, if you have an invoice, so if you put an invoice through the system that sees a payment for that amount of the invoice, it will, it will recognize that the payment's the same and it will suggest that that payment might be a payment off against an invoice. So that automation of processing um, is a really, really nice function. It saves a lot of time and I guess it improves accuracy as well. Yeah, okay. So that's sort of the basic benefits uh, of Xero. So what we might do now is just run through some questions that are, that are common questions people ask with this sort of system. Uh, we'll start with security of the data. So tell us how that's handled. Okay, so security of the data, that's on two levels, I guess. Um, firstly, uh, some people are concerned about hacking. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. you're looking at this saying, well, given it's a live online version, it's not on my computer, uh, you might be concerned about people hacking into your data file. Um, I guess the answer to that is what Xero have done is they've actually um, put a system in place which is the same um, security system used by internet banking. So if you're comfortable using internet banking, um, then you should also be comfortable using Xero. Okay. What about the data itself? People regularly back up their, their computer, back up their data file. So how, is, how are backups handled with something like Xero? Yeah. Um, what Xero does, it's hosted remotely uh, on a server. Uh, they actually have uh, three backups of that in Australia, in different cities in Australia, and they've also got um, an external backup overseas. So uh, most businesses often will keep, keep a backup of their data file uh, 
the same premises as, as their data file is. So, for instance, if a fire comes through, um, mm. they would lose it anyway, even if they do have a backup. So Zero actually provides a better backup system than, than historical data. Yeah, sure. there's a lot of benefits there. Mm. What, what does someone get? So if someone signs up for Zero, a business person signs up, what, what do they get? What's involved? What's in the package for them? Okay, so uh, once again, a, a difference from more historical accounting packages is, is that Zero you pay a monthly fee. Uh, so the general, the most common um, package is a $49 a month. That gives you access to the basic accounting function, invoicing, um, yeah, your, your ledger, um, as well as payroll if you've got up to 20 staff, um, and a basic inventory. And the inventory is a bit basic, but because they're constantly upgrading and it's a new system, um, within the next 12 months, even the inventory will be a more sophisticated inventory. Are there other systems that can be used and, and fed into Zero if something that someone particularly wants, like a, a stronger inventory system, is that available? It is. Um, so Zero is very interlinked with other packages, um, and a lot of packages have written programs to be able to link in, link in with Zero. So um, if you're particularly needing inventory, then there is an inventory package which which you can get, which is really rock solid. There's actually about five or six available, uh, and they feed in really easily into Zero. Uh, I guess you need to be aware with that though, is that there's an additional monthly fee for those packages. Yep, fair enough. If someone's currently using MYOB, for example, how do they transition from MYOB, from the old server-based version, over into something like Zero? So. Basically, there's a transfer you can do. Zero is compatible with other software, so um, some people are concerned about they've got all their card files, um, their supplier details and whatnot on, on another package. Um, there is a conversion process which can roll into Zero from your current package, so you don't have to re-enter all that data. Uh, it basically can be rolled over and converted. Okay, that saves people a lot of time then. Definitely. Um, what, so, so we normally do that process for, for our clients, so um, and I guess that just takes a bit of the, the, the concern and the, and the worry out of the, out of the client's mind as well. Okay, so I want to change from, M, from my current package to Zero. What do I do? Well, the first thing would be to, to make sure that Zero is the best package for you. So we tend to, um, I guess, we, I would advise you to, to phone Clifton Accountants. Uh, we can discuss what your needs are. Um, we can. Th there's more things about Zero that we haven't had time to go into today. So, um, just have a discussion to to see whether your current package is the right one for you, uh, or Zero might be a, a better option. So, the first thing I, I would say is just to have a have a talk to us about it. Um, look at the pros and the cons, uh, the costs involved, and yeah, uh, once you've made the decision, the process is fairly automated in in that we take care of a lot of the. Um, the back end office work. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, thanks for that. The reality is that cloud based accounting systems, and really when you look at the likes of Dropbox and Gmail and all these other different systems these days, is that everything's going online. Um, accounting is, is no different, that the management of files and the management of data is going to become more and more uh, an online service, which is brilliant for businesses and accountants because it can make the interaction a lot better. Move away from just doing the numbers and doing a lot more with the numbers. Uh, so if you want to have a discussion about cloud-based accounting and particularly Xero, then call Clifton Accountants today.